Additionally, we are working with our teams to dig deeper and deeper through the general garbage until we find any loose trailers from the shredding that have all sunk into the river, or until we uncover even more remains since we can no longer smell anything. They discovered a handful on the first day, and their dogs attacked a few of them, but we haven't yet discovered any. The end of the window, where survivors have been discovered, is pretty well within reach. It's distressing that we don't know how much damage has already been done in some areas with this disaster compared to some of the other ones where we have a better notion of how many people are searching for them and how many are missing. As we start looking for foreign remains, we also start clearing the debris, which is a problem in and of itself. However, in this case, we are dealing with a sizable amount of the storm surge and the overall power that water exerts on structures that are not meant to sustain it. Each hurricane I have encountered has had a somewhat different level of devastation. As a result, we are seeing entire houses being picked up, transported, and stacked on top of other houses that have already undergone major dismantling and destruction. 